Uh, hey, for fun, this morning I thought we'd take a look at some of the latest fall reports across the country. Of course, it's that time of year, right, where we start noticing the leaves changing. We've even seen a couple of leaves try to change in northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Have you noticed them as well? It's not really the traditional change. What's going on is that we actually got declared a level one drought on Thursday from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. And when you are in drought conditions, the leaves can try to change a little bit more. Sometimes they're not as colorful though. Sometimes it's a little bit kind of more muted, but we have seen a little bit of change. So, and even across the Ozarks as well in Southwest Missouri. So we've seen a little bit of change, but that big change that we're, you know, we, we love every time of year, we still have a month to go or so before we start seeing some of the big time changes here in Arkansas and Oklahoma. They're seeing peak though conditions in Northern Minnesota, a lot of places right along the U.S. Canadian border. And then in some of the western uh, portions of Colorado and some of the Rocky Mountain ranges, so many ranges there west of Denver, they're also starting to get to peak too. And so it really depends on your latitude and depends on your elevation. So we also have more reports in some of the, the higher elevations in the northeast from the Adirondacks and the Catskills and then in the Adirondacks or towards the south and the Appalachians towards the south, I should say. Uh, but leaves are continuing to change across the country. So that's really cool. Of course, we got a month again until we start to see that peak change. That peak color really is late October and then early November. Of course, that can change a little bit year by year to by a week or so, depending on uh, the drought conditions and temperatures and all good things like that. This is a live look in Pecola. We got clear skies this morning. We had a front actually pass through late last night. No rain with it for us. The rain is farther towards the north and east, but we actually have a light northerly wind at the moment. That'll keep us just a touch cooler today compared to tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll get into the mid to upper 80s to near 90 degrees. When you look westbound, there's nothing headed our way. Weather is quiet the next several days. We could use the rain big time, right? A lot of us could, we need four, five, six inches of rain for a lot of us. We're just not gonna squeeze it out the next couple of days. That, that front though continues to kind of settle over uh, the mountains right now. You can see a little bit cooler right now in Fayetteville, 49, 55 in Fort Smith, 50 degrees on the east side of Cavanaugh Hill. Later this afternoon, we'll get into the 80s area wide. So just a touch warmer than yesterday. But the north wind, I don't think it's gonna feel so bad today. So that'll be good news. As we get towards Sunday though, that's when we head towards 90 degrees. If you want the 90s, you can head to the Hogs game in North Texas. They're going to be in the low 90s for tailgate. And of course, the stadium's inside air conditioning. 2.30s kickoff right here on Channel 5. So we're super excited about that coming up in a couple hours. Humidity the next couple of days actually looks low this weekend. So even though the temperature is going up compared to that fall front that we had earlier this week, the humidity is not going to be so bad. But the humidity will start to return next week. And when that humidity returns, we'll have better chances for a few showers and thunderstorms. Not a very organized system, Tiffany, as we're looking towards next week, but we do have some rain chances headed our way. A lot of us could use a quick downpour to try to, you know, make the grass a little bit greener and just help with some of the crops out there and, and some of the wildlands. Live look for Fort Smith in the River Valley area as we're headed into the next several days. Upper 80s today, low 90s though, I think by Sunday. So we've got a, we've got a little bubble of some summertime heat, Tiffany, coming away at least for the near future. I'm excited about that little bubble. I might make it to the pool yeah, or something. There you go. <laughs> you totally can. Uh, that's, you know, we're only going to have so many more weekends where we get 90s. 90s exactly. become fewer and far between as we press farther into fall. Honestly, I've been to my pool about once this year. That's so it. So gotta, gotta get you got, it in You got now. some more time. You go now. That's right. It's crunch time. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for that, Matt. And after the break,